Hello, my name's Tom and I'm a solutions engineer here at Forza. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Forza's TPM capabilities. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how Forza manages rebates and accruals. To showcase this, we're first going to log into Forza and view a key account. Then we're going to view a promotion targeting this key account. This promotion will have a rebate tactic applied as well as an associated trade fund. Then we're going to review the sellout data generated from this promotion and then trigger a process to show how a Forza automatically calculates your accruals and rebates. So let's jump into the demonstration. Here we are in our key account, Fresh Start Southwest within a Forza. What we're interested in today is the promotions targeting this account, which can be easily viewed in a Forza's Intuitive Promotion Planner. So the promotion we're interested in today is our drinks promotion. In a Forza, you can have many products and many tactics within one promotion. But for simplicity, in today's demonstration, we're gonna focus on one product and one tactic. This is so that the calculations for the rebates and accruals are simple and easy to follow. So, let's have a look at our promotion in detail. Here is our promotion in detail. Now, when we're doing TPM, one of the things, the first things we do when planning a promotion is we have to predict how much this will cost. Forza makes this simple. So, for example, in our case, we can review a product associated with this promotion. In our case, CS Berry Fruits. As part of this, a Forza has already automatically calculated the unit variable cost and the total variable cost. So, how does it do this? First, it will look at the promotion and get the tactic. Then, it will get the base price of the product and apply the tactic or tactics to the base price. In our case, we have a 1% rebate applied to a $6 base price. So we end up with a six cent unit variable cost. So calculating the total predicted variable cost is simply uh, a matter of timesing the predicted unit volume against the predicted unit cost. We have a 10,000 uh, unit predicted volume. So our predicted total variable cost is $600. Now, of course, we've planned this and we have a predicted cost, but this needs to come from somewhere. So we model that in a fund. Again, a Forza has already saved us time here. We can see that the allocated section in the financial details uh, portion of this page has been updated with the uh, predicted trade spend for our promotion. So this fund page would usually have multiple promotions associated with it. In our case, for simplicity, we're just using the one promotion, so the numbers are easy to follow. These funds are also flexible. They're associated to budgets. So in our case, we're looking at the Fresh Start Q3 budget that this fund pulls from. So we have our fund. We have our promotion. All we need now is to execute that promotion and get some sellout data returned to us so we can calculate our rebates and our accruals. So let's do that. So here is our sellout data. A Forza usually manages thousands of rows of sellout uh, data. In our case, we are once again, for simplicity's sake, reviewing only one, so the numbers are easy to follow. For this piece of sellout data, we can see that it's for our Fresh Start Southwest account. We sold a thousand units. Uh, the total sales volume is $6,000 and the product was CS Berry Fruits. So we have the data, let's make use of it. What I'm about to show you would ordinarily be an automated process, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to trigger it manually. So what I've just triggered would usually be the automated process. Now what this does is it queries our sellout data. A 
as part of that. It will then review uh, the account the sellout data is related to, the promotion, if there is one, that can apply to the product within there. And then if, uh, if the product is part of a promotion, that's part of that sellout data, it will then apply the tactic to this and roll up the rebates from our promotion, the product in the promotion, and to our fund. This all saves us time, effort, and makes uh, users more efficient and effective. So, we've talked about it, let's see it for real. So, this is our promotion product from earlier, the product within our promotion. We can see our rebate total has been calculated. So again, from our sellout object, we had a sales value of $6,000. So we've applied our 1% rebate to that and ended up with $60. This can also be seen in our fund. Here you can see the spent section in financial details has updated with our rebate from the promotion and our accrual amount has adjusted automatically. So again, a Forza has done a lot of the work for us. We haven't had to spend time going through spreadsheets or manually entering numbers. It's all automated to make us more efficient. So what have we seen here today? We've seen an account in, for in a Forza. We've seen a promotion targeting that account, how it's easy to review predicted costs for that promotion, how the uh, promotion costs pull through into the fund associated with the promotion, and finally, how a Forza quickly and effectively calculates accruals and rebates for you and rolls them up from the promotion to the fund.